So first and foremost, you become dictatorial if you decide to prevent your children from picking up their own careers and doing what they please legally. In fact, the fact that you gave birth to children does not mean that you can control your life, their lives, all true. In Africa, we do that a lot. A father tells his grown-up son, who has a wife and children, not to do a particular kind of thing. And if the son goes ahead to do it, he goes ahead to disown him. In Europe, in America, and some other places, it's not like that. Yes, you can suggest. You don't have to do this. Don't do that. Don't do that. But it behoves them to still decide because they have their own conscience and their own brain whether to do this or not. I do understand how painful it is to lose a husband at the age of 45, very young. Six children. And at the end of it all, Lilian Kuma is so sure that her husband did not die from poisoning. But he died from cancer, as we were told. But is that enough to say that your children will never take public office? If this is not probed, I know the pain involved, my brother, my sister. Of course, this has to be probed. You have already gone to the police. You have gone to the law to be able to bring Captain Smart forward and some other people with the same theories, at least to be able to prove what they said. We all will be glad if we probe the poison issue. But in this election, this poison is going to play a very important role. That is why politicians are so interested in this. If it is true that he died from out of a poison, then it is an indictment on the NPP. Now, my brother, my sister, as it stands right now, they are doing everything possible to be able to put this to rest. I will not be surprised if they push the widow into politics. She is already an apostle of God. She has her own church, but we hear she has political ambitions. Who wouldn't have in a country where nothing works aside politics? When you become a politician, you make all the money that you want. You can become the greatest man in this country in terms of the content of your brain. If you are not a politician, you'll be a pauper. Lillian, my suggestion to you is to take it easy, to stop talking, and concentrate on burying your husband. The more you talk, the more people write, the more the media talks. And the more you make your husband very uncomfortable wherever he is. If you believe in rest in peace, it is time to rest your mouth. I leave it here.